Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 19th of July 2024. I hope you are keeping well, in good health and are COVID free. I mention this because the public inquiry into the UK's response to COVID, the first report has been released <clears throat> and it's, it looks very interesting. It's about 150 pages and I've only just seen it but uh, I wanted to say a couple of things. First of all is I like the way in the report they have began, uh, they have begun the report with voices of the bereaved, uh, lest we not forget the people that really suffered. Um, I, uh, I'll give you an example. So it's, there are four quotations from different um, people from bereaved groups. When we took mummy up to the hospital, there was very limited, just a plastic apron on staff, and my sister actually asked about COVID. And we were told not to worry, it would be a flash in the pan and be gone by summer. I'm here to remind everybody of the human cost that we paid as bereaved people. My mummy was not cannon fodder, she was a wonderful wee woman who had the spirit of Goliath. And I know she's standing here with me today because she would want me to be here. because She knows she lived a life, as did all our loved ones. And it's important that we remember the human cost, because there are too many people out there now that think that COVID has gone away. And people are still losing their life to COVID. And that's one of the quotes. And a report begins, the executive summary begins, in 2019 it was widely believed that the U in the UK and abroad that the UK was not only properly prepared, but was one of the best prepared countries in the world to respond to a pandemic. This report concludes that in reality the UK was ill prepared for dealing with a ca catastrophic emergency, let alone the COVID-19 pandemic that actually struck. In 2020 the UK lacked resilience. Yes. Uh, and it goes on to uh, talk more about many of the well-known problems and in particular the ridiculous uh, higher rate of deaths and uh, infections that were caused by, that were caused by the mismanagement of the, the pandemic. It was very badly managed uh, compared to many other countries which had a much lower uh, mortality rate and infection rate indeed. Okay, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? Um, I'm going to start with five uh, five blocking across here and five blocking up here and up here. Did I mention this is the Guardian's hard level puzzle for a Friday? I don't think I did. But I have now. Uh, right. Trying to see what's on offer. Okay, we've got a one blocking down here, one across there and there. Well, I see 8 and 7 blocking down here, so I do know that 8 and 7 are going to be in those squares. And it actually means that 8 and 7 are up there as well. So I can work out what goes here, and I can work out goes here, what goes here. Let's work, see what goes here first. So we've got 8 and 7 there. So here we need 1, 4, 5. We've got 4 blocking here. No, not 1, 4, 5, sorry. But is 1 and 4 something, but definitely 4s go there. Excuse me, I haven't quite worked out yet. This is 8 and 7. This is 1 and six i should say oh great because we've got six blocking across here so here's our six and here's our one sorry i slightly misdirected you there but recovered in time uh, so we know obviously that's eight and seven up there we know eight and seven are down here this then has to be uh, four five six and we've got five and six together so that's going to be the location for four Four blocks across here, four blocks down here and down here. Uh, but four also blocking down here gives us four in one of those squares across. So four must go there. The printer seems to have decided to do things by itself. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if you can hear the printer, but it seems to have developed a mind of its own. Sometimes it does that when I'm, it seems to be when I'm playing Sudoku. It's a ghost in the Sudoku machine. Four blocking down here, four blocking down here. Four across there will give me a four there. It suddenly does its little cleaning routine while I'm playing Sudoku.
okay we have three blocking up here and across there what does it mean three is either here or there it certainly means three blocks back in this direction three blocking across here three blocking up there and that means that must be a three three down here there's our three actually three down this way this way and across there will give us another three there three across here across here down there there's a three and three up to the top we'll finish the threes there's the last one going in now okay What's left over here? Two, five, nine. Any help on that? No, we've got the five and the nine there. The twos we don't know about just yet. I wonder if we ought to just wander around and see if anything looks nice. Like we've got ones there for sure. What do we know about the twos? Um, we know this is eight and seven, so twos are in those squares. Okay, we have twos down there. That's two and four, isn't it? Um, this is five here, five there, five there. Pair of sixes up there. Ah, did we have something else in there? Yeah, okay, so two and six across there, so that's a pair of two and six. So this has to be seven and eight, which doesn't help, but does give me the digit here, which is a nine, which I would have seen if I'd ever got around to getting up as high as nine. Uh, didn't quite get that high yet. Haven't got that high yet. Uh, what was I looking at? Sixes. So we've got sixes there, we've got sixes here, and we've got sixes somewhere there. Okay, seven across here, put seven into one of these two squares, blocking back, excuse me, I'm jumping over things here, there's our seven. Oh, that was eight, was it seven and eight in those squares, so there's our eight. So we're looking for two, uh, no, we're looking for six, eight, nine here. We've got nine blocking up here and nine blocking up here. There's the nine. And we'll have six and eight in those remaining squares. Uh, so I think that means... Okay, we've got eight in those squares there. We've got eights here, right, for these missing digits here, seven and eight. And so eights, we can only look in the middle column. We've got a blocking eight here, so that's going to be an eight there.
you might be able to hear my neighbors distracting me <laughs> they, have, they chat in the garden which is very near the window um, of this computer room where I do these videos Ah, uh, I think I've got you. I think we're missing one two five nine. One two five nine. One two five nine. Yes, we are missing one two five and nine. One five nine. I'll attack that square. That's got to be a two. the rest ah can't find you where are the others Where to be looking, where to be looking. Oh, excuse me, I'm accidentally bashing the microphone here. I'm not trying to destroy your ears or anything. Uh, what do we know about ones? Well, we know, oh, there we are. <laughs> we know one is in that square there. That's what we know. That's all we needed to know, really. Um, So two six there, two six there, that's two six uh, up there. Is that available for us? Uh, I think it is, yeah. Um, and this is going to be one four, isn't it? Which is right, that matches down there, yeah. Okay, six across here, there's our six. The last digit here is seven. Seven blocking down here, seven down there, there's our seven. This will be eight. Eight blocking up here and up there gives us eight in that square, and this will be six if I remember correctly. Do six down there, there's our six. Missing number here is two. Two across here, two down there, there's two. Um, no. Nope. All right, that's got to be a two up there, hasn't it? So two across here. Now, if you remember, so I put eight and seven blocking down here. So this was eight and seven, right? So this has to be two. No, no, it doesn't. I'm talking about two. Sorry, I apologize. Two is in one of those squares blocking up here. 
two across there that's the two almost messed it up again what is this down here this was seven and eight this is going to be uh five and six i guess um isn't it this is seven or eight so this has to be five or six yeah so six across there there's our six there's our five and the last number up there is uh nine okay uh Okay, still only three as my completed digit. Uh, other things still to be done. Uh, what do we know about ones? Ones go there. Okay, five down here, five across there, there's our five. Five up here, five down there, five across there, there's our five. Five back this way and this way gives us five in that square. So missing numbers here are one and nine. We've got nine blocking here, so there's the nine, there's the one. One blocking to the top, one up here, there's our one. One this way, there's our one. That's the last digit one. The missing number here is a four. Four across here will give us four in that square. The missing number here is six. Six across here and six up there says that's our six. The last number to grab here is seven. And the missing numbers here and here, I think are eight and nine, but nine blocking up here. Here's the nine. I believe an eight will finish there. 8 also blocks across here, giving me an 8 in this square. 8 blocking down says this is our 8. The last number here is 7. 7 blocks across here. Here's the 7. And missing here, uh, 3. No. What's missing? 8. Okay, one more number to go here. 2, I think. And we also have two blocking down. There's our two. Here we need a seven. And to finish the game, a nine goes there. So slightly more difficult than we've had of late in the Guardian, but still not too terrible. Uh, that's it. So take care. Bye-bye.